In an era where Hollywood seems obsessed with rebooting or remaking every intellectual property under the sun, it's rare for an original idea to take root. But every so often, it happens. Such as in 2009 when one of the biggest original sci-fi hits of the decade debuted with District 9. It felt like everyone saw that movie when it first came out, and had nothing but good things to say about it and its director, Neil Blomkamp. It even managed to score a few Oscar nominations, including one for Best Picture. So one would think that a sequel would be fast-tracked as soon as possible. However, said sequel has never manifested. The reasons seem to range from Blomkamp becoming a rising star in Hollywood, as well as his follow-up efforts. In the years since, the director has kept himself extremely busy with a slew of different projects. Some made it to the big screen, such as Chappie and Elysium, while others, such as his planned Alien and Robocop films, not so much. So his schedule had been pretty full. However, it's not the only thing that's really gotten in the way of a potential District 10. Since District 9, his original ideas haven't exactly set the world on fire, often underperforming at the box office leaving some people questioning if Blomkamp could even really do it. But things are looking up for him. His latest film is an adaptation of the video game Gran Turismo, once again reuniting him with Sony, who actually distributed District 9, bringing things full circle. And since that film was much better well received, it looks as though District 10 might at long last come to fruition. Only time will really tell though at this point. 